Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. So this radio here is the TID Radio TDHA, and I did a review of this last week. I unboxed it, showed you what we got in the box, and did an on-air test with my friend Robert, and this radio is very kindly sent to me via uh, from TID Radio themselves. They reached out to me on Twitter. And in this week's video, we're going to learn how to program this via the OD Master or Master app. Now, if you wish to learn more about this radio, go and watch last week's video, and also head over to tidradio.com where you learn about this radio and all the other products they have to offer. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, you can either program the radio via the dongle here, or you can use the built-in Bluetooth on the radio, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So if we turn the radio on, welcome, and you'll see on my screen, I have a Bluetooth icon that's coming out on the camera. If I can zoom in. Now if you press B BL, it beeps twice and turns the Bluetooth off. Press BL again, it turns the Bluetooth on. Now what you want to do is go on to the OD Master app. Now TID Radio said they're going to update the OD Master app to include UK repeaters, so let's hope they have. So if we press on the OD Master app and go to Program, we're going to go Connect Bluetooth, and we're going to say TID Radio, we're going to turn it on, and now we're going to go Select Model, and we're going to go to TID Radio, TID Radio, and you see here we've got TID Radio HD8, HAM, TDH8, GMRS, and TDHA Unlock Version. I'm going to press on Unlock Version. Unlock Ver. Now I'm going to press Read. And now it's going to say Bluetooth Program on the screen. It's now reading the radio and downloading all the information from the radio. And there we go, it re it's read the radio and goes back to the radio's main screen. Now, if I press on repeater, and you'll need the um, GPS on your phone for this, press on repeater, and let's see what's up. Added oh, yes, they've added some 77 repeaters. Brilliant, lovely. So we can now do 77 repeaters on this radio. So let's add in a repeater, say, GB3BV. We'll try that one. So all we do... Press on channel, and we'll stick it on, say, channel 6. Press on confirm, and press import. And now we do one more repeater. We'll go to repeater, and we do GB7CH. Press on channel, and put it on channel 7, and press on confirm. And I'll press import. Now, if you press on function, go okay, right down the bottom here, and it says A channel display. You can change that. It should be set to frequency. Set it onto name, and then do the same thing for B channel display, and press on write. And that's going to write all the information back to the radio. There we go, the radio goes back to the main screen. And if you're in memory mode or VFI mode, just press this one here, uh, VFI MR. Channel mode. So we go to channel mode. Frequency mode. So I go channel, channel mode. mode. And we can go through the menu, uh, the channels by using the up and down arrow keys. Four. Five. So there's one program on number five, which is a two meter repeater, GB7CH, lovely. Six. And there's GB3BV, lovely. Let's go up again. Seven. And there we go, there's another one that's been programmed in, GB7CH. Eight. And that's just one that was already on the radio. Seven. So there we go. It's working now with the repeaters in the UK. I'm not sure if it's working with all the repeaters, but well done for TID Radio for updating it. 
to make it work with the UK repeaters. So when I go out and about, it's going to be very easy now just to fire up the app, press press a few buttons, and upload the local repeater to this radio. So yes, when I reviewed the uh, app, first of all, it didn't work in the UK repeaters, so I moaned about that. They reached out to me, and I've had a few updates on the app, and the app's getting better and better all the time. Now, I think you can go on their website, uh, OD Master app, and write your own list on there. I think when you log into your account, it saves it onto your like onto your account, and you can use the, um, the list you've created to upload that straight to the radio. So I'll be playing around with that at some point. But yeah, because the app's had a few updates, it's working a lot better. So many thanks again to Tid Radio for sending this radio over. Um for reviewing on the channel and I've now programmed it with the app and using the Bluetooth on the radio. If you found the video of some use not to do, give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video, yeah the other button seems to work too and all that stuff. But as always thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. This is 2E0 IQJ. 73s for now.